Hello, and welcome to another Tableau Tip Tuesday, the series where every Tuesday we put out another tip highlighting some of Tableau's more obscure capabilities. Doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an expert, join us every week to learn those hidden gems to take your skills to a new level. Today we'll be going over dual axis charts, so let's go ahead and get to work here. In order to create a dual axis chart, we can do it in three clicks here. We'll start with a level of detail, a measure, and now just like my title up here says, we're going to add our second metric opposite the existing axis range up here, where we get one small ruler indicating that we will drop an axis where one did not exist previously. We'll notice a couple of changes. We see a split field up here on my um, structure shelf. That is the indicator that I have a dual axis chart. And you'll notice also that we can cycle through our three marks cards. So let's create a quick line over bar chart will be the first one we're going to be creating today. So we'll take our order date out there. Maybe we go to a discrete month. And we'll drop our profit opposite the existing axis. We will synchronize these axes so that it doesn't look like profit is almost as much as sales. And now, since we have two separate marks cards, we can keep our profit as a line and change our profit to a bar. Voila. All right, let's see one more example here, and then we're going to discuss a different way that we can build these out. All right, so once again, dropping profit on the opposite axis. Now we can go bar in bar by using the all marks card, changing the mark type to bar. And now we can just come to our profit bar and go into the size menu to skinny up that bar a little bit. Once again, we'll throw a synchronize on our axes so that we can have them representative of each other. All right, so what about charts that don't have a traditional axis here? I'm gonna go to a quick pie chart here. There we go, we have a pie chart here and what we wanna do is turn this into a donut chart. So I'm gonna do a little calculation here, just a minimum of one. That is a continuous field, so it'll give us an axis that just goes from zero to one. Repeat the same step again. Right click up here and go dual axis. This is the second way to go dual axis. And as a note, if I click the left hand field, you'll see that my dual axis does not exist. So again, we'll go up here, right click and go dual axis. Now all we have to do is hollow out the center of one of our two pies and make the opposing one just a little bit bigger. There you go, a beautiful donut chart. Last one we're gonna be going over here today is a map. So if we wanted to, make a state map here by dragging state onto detail. Just to make my view a little bit more concise, I'm gonna go ahead and drag country out of there. And now we'll make this a filled map type where we can put something like region on color. Now our goal here is we want to have a sales dot sized by the sales that a city had. So what we're gonna do is take our latitude, hold control and duplicate it and use a dual axis map here. And now using our two marks cards, we can clear out region, expand to city, and we can go ahead and put sales on size right there. Change that to a circle map type, make it a little bit bigger so we can see it, maybe even add a little bit of a black border to it. And we're starting to get a good looking chart. All right, there you have it. Everything dual axis. Join us next Tuesday for another tip.